Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to always give the thanks. Another day right now to always give the praise. Another day right now to always give the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He always stays the same. He's always on time. He always keeps it real. He's always honest. You can always depend on him. You can always rely on him. There's nothing too hard and there's nothing too difficult for our God. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but every day I need Jesus in my life. And I thank you for everything he's done. Every day is a day that I want to go closer with him. I want to be close to him. I want more of him and less of myself. Every last one of us are in debt with Jesus. He don't owe us nothing. We owe him. We owe him with praise. But I don't want my brothers and I don't want my sisters to start getting in the habit of praising Jesus because he wants something. I don't want my brothers and my sisters to get in the habit to start praising Jesus because you're in need of anything. I don't want my brothers and my sisters to get in the habit to start praising him because things are going right. I want you to praise him. I want you to praise him. I want you to praise him because you are in love with him. That's what praise is all about. Your, 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 your connection that you have with him. Your relationship that you have with him. Your commitment. Your dedication that you have with Jesus. That will praise. It's all about. Are you committed to him? Are you dedicated to him? Do you seek him? Is he your everything? Do you put him in first place? That's what praise is all about. And if you really really, really, really in love with Jesus. It shouldn't be no problem right now today. Wherever you at right now, stop doing what you're doing and give our heavenly Father God a shout out of praise and a shout out of glory. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, I just ask of you in your holy precious, precious mighty name. I thank you for this day. I thank you, Father God, for this opportunity. I thank you, Heavenly Father God, for this chance of a lifetime. I thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive right now. I thank you, Father God, for this powerful message right now today. God is going to keep us full. It's going to keep us satisfied. Oh, Heavenly Father God, there's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but in your house, seeking you, praising you, glorifying you, putting our faith, our trust, and hope in you, God, and always following you, Jesus. Father God, you got this thing on lock. Father God, you got this thing under control. Father God, you will always be in charge. No, it doesn't matter how painful it is. It doesn't matter how stressful it is. It doesn't matter how upside down it looks like. It doesn't matter how ugly, how ugly it is. Father God, you have the last say so, God. And God, my brothers and my sisters, Father God, they're holding on to your untamable hands. They trust in you, Father God, with all their might, soul, and heart. Father God, they have no other place to go to. Father God, they have no other place to ride. But Jesus, you know exactly what you're doing right now. Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Father God, this is your time, Father God, that we expect you, Father God, to show up and show out. Father God, you know exactly what your sons and your daughters, even myself, that we are going through, God. But God, your word tells us 
in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, to cast all our problems, all our anxieties onto you because why? It is you who care for us, Jesus. Not nobody else but you, Jesus. So, Father God, we want to thank you, Father God, for caring for us. We want to thank you, Father God, for always for always keeping us on your mind. We want to thank you, Father God, for always looking out for us. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. And before I get started, there's something that's always on my mind. Before I get started, there's something that stays on the fruit of my lips. It's something that stays on the, always in my heart. It's something that I always like to say. And Father God, I got to keep it real with you right now. I have to be honest with you to let you know how I really feel about you. I can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I brag, that's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pour my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. 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 Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. But let Jesus know right now, let him know right now that you can't thank him enough. Amen? Amen. Sometimes we wonder why all these attacks are happening to us all at once. But we got to be thankful and tell Jesus, tell Jesus thank you for the attacks because they let us know that we get close to something. They let us know that we're on the right path. They let us know that something amazing is about to happen. See, the enemy would be fighting this hard if something was about to take place. These attacks that you are going through, these attacks that you are facing, my brothers and my sisters, wouldn't happen if you wasn't close. Somebody tell the enemy right now, I don't have no beef with you. Why are you still trying me like that? He got beef with you because he knows his time is short. He has beef with you because he knows that his time is up. He has beef with you because he knows that he already lost. He has beef with you because he has tried every trick in the book to try to take you out. But it did not work. The weapon was formed, but the weapon, hallelujah, it never worked. The weapon, it never prospered. He even used people that you were close to to try to take you out. But you overcame every obstacle that came your way. And you say, why? You try me like that. I have no beef with you. My brothers and my sisters, it ain't about that he had beef with you. He don't want you to have what was his at one point in time. Because at one point in time, everything belonged to him. He was on top and was on the bottom. But he was so selfish and greedy and he wanted to be God. And God kicked him out right out. God kicked him out of heaven. And the moment that God kicked him out of heaven, they placed us on top and he at the bottom. So his number one thing was it tried to take you out. And I'm talking to somebody right now because a lot of my sisters, a lot of my brothers right now, you realize that you've been going through a lot of attacks right now. And you wonder why. Certain things is taking place right now. You wonder why why the enemy is after you so much. Because his time is up and his time is short. So by his time being up and his time is being short. So right now he is coming after you. He's using, he using every trick and trade of the book 
that try to knock you out because he already know that he's already lost. But you got to let him know, I want no beef with you. Why are you trying to? He tried too hard because he don't want you to have what God is about to bless you with. He know that God is about to show up and show it in your life. He know God is about to open up a couple of doors for you. He know God has the right connection. He know God has the right resources. He know God has the right outlook. All just for you, my brothers, my sisters. And he can't stand it right now. So yes, he coming out swinging. Yes, he coming out kicking. Yes, he coming out biting. Yes, he coming out all kind of ways to try to distract you and wipe you out, my brothers, my sisters. Because when the enemy time is up, he's going to try everything in his power to try to take you off course. So I'm telling you right now today, my sisters, I'm telling you right now today, my brothers, we must always keep our eyes focused on Jesus, which he is the author and the perfecter of our faith. We must continue to hold on to his unchanged hands. We must continue to seek him and praise him and glorify him through our pain, through our situation, through our circumstances, through the hurt. It takes a strong individual to do that. I'm going to tell you the truth. I realized I had a tech last night, my brothers and my sisters. And the moment I felt it and I realized what it was, I said, thank you, Jesus. I began to thank him right then and there. I began to praise right then and there. I began to worship right then and there because it only gave me an indication that I'm getting close. It only gave me a, a sign. It only gave me a clue that my blessing, my breakthrough, my miracle is somewhere around the corner. It's somewhere close that's in the vicinity. So I'm going to continue to thank him no matter what. I'm going to continue to praise him no matter what. I'm going to continue to glorify his name no matter what. And you got to say, why you keep trying that? I ain't got no beef with you. Don't let the enemy know right now that you don't have no beef with him. But he must have beef with you because he don't want you to have what Jesus is about to do in your life. How many of y'all, my brothers, how many of y'all, my sisters, told Jesus, thank you, because you were you were spiritually intact? How many of y'all told Jesus, thank you? Because you never thought the person that you was cool with was ever going to flip on you, a shade tree. But all that was already ordained for it to go down the way that it went down. It was already preordained for it to happen the way that it happened. So these attacks, all these schemes that's going on right now, and how the enemy trying to do what it can to knock you out. You got to tell Jesus, thank you for these attacks. Thank you for the enemy coming at me. Thank you, because they're coming at me sideways. You got to let, let them know how thankful you are. You got to let, let them know how grateful you are, because you are going through this. Because the enemy knows his time is up. The enemy knows that you are up next, my sisters. The enemy knows that you are up, my, that you are up next, my brothers. Amen? Amen. Can you please turn your Bibles to Deuteronomy 28? And we're going to read verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we're going to read verse 7. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say, Amen. Amen. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before what? Before you. Mm. They will come out from one direction. But flee from you and say. I'm going to read that again. The Lord will grant that the enemy who rises up against you will be defeated but before you. They will come at you from one direction but flee you and say. Mm, 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 mm. They're already defeated. 
And they mad right now. They pissed off right now. Because they don't know how to figure you out right now. They don't know what kind of no weapon. They don't know what kind of secret weapon that you are carrying, my brother, my sister. They don't even know that you carry that thing with you. What is that thing? The word. What you carry, that thing, the promises. And it's always enlightening you, my sisters. It's always enlightening you today, my brothers. So, yes, he is pissed off. I had that tattoo. And the moment I had that tattoo, I said, thank you, Jesus. That was the number one sure sign to let me know that we are up next. That we are up next. They let us know that we are up next for that promotion. That we are up next for everything to start happening for us the way that it should have been happening right now. Tell yourself, I have to be up next because if you're not up next, there's no way that the enemy will have been attacking you. If your blessing, your if your blessing and your breakthrough, your miracle was was not somewhere close, you wouldn't have to worry about what the enemy is doing to you. But the reason why the enemy is bothering you so much and and messing with your mind and mess with your spirit because you are up next. I'm going to keep it real with you. You're up next. That's why. And if you know that God is talking to you, and if you know that this word is for you, give God some thanks. Give him some praise. Give him some glory right now in the house of the Lord. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. If I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life for now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave a comment, my YouTube channel is Wiggins.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. Always put your faith and your trust and hope in Jesus. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him. Continue to hold him to his unchangeable hand. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep on in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm serving. I'm going to say up to you. I love you. I stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.